Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Ha Rakakwadash Ma'amah. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and the elders. Double honors to my elders as well, Harwan, Ban Yasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp. And salutations to the fellow Akim, our wife and the children that believe in truth and in sincerity. It's your brother, I thank y'all back to another lesson. And your heart is edifying. And um, as you can see, you got a, a, a another rapper's money man gives his baby mama $100,000 to start a business, <clears throat> you know? And it's just a uh, folly, you know? And um, basically, I got some scriptures lined up. I want to go into it right quick. Because it's basically just, hey, it's, it's vexing, you know, hey, just to see the niggerdom of, of our people, all right, and to see the madness of this place to continue on, you know, um, hey, you can imagine how Lot felt, man, you know, hey, let's go get it, Second Peter's chapter 2 and verse 7, you know, vexed, you know, being vexed, and this is the book of Second Peter chapter 2 and verse 7. And delivered just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, you know. <clears throat> and that's ultimately a Lot was living amongst a, the, 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 the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, and those are the neighboring cities, man. You know, and a, this America, all right, this present kingdom being America, all right, the, um, Babylon is, is, a, is the spiritually Sodom, man. You know, this is second. This is second Egypt, and this is spiritually Sodom and Gomorrah, man, pertaining to Revelations eleven verse eight. All right, hey, but you know, you go through the curses, man, being the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, that's written in Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse 15, 15 to sixty-eight. You know where you can find the curses that we that we're up that we're we're up under. All right, so hey, we know hey. As, as a people, all right, especially as men, and hey, we the last one hired and the first one fired, all right, but you have these, these, these niggards, all right, who like to boast their wickedness, man, you know, and this is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and verse 66, all right, because this is not your rest, all right, if you're a so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, Seminole, Indian men, all right, and those are the speckled bird who may look like the other nations, but bear the same spirit as such, all right. This is not your rest, man. You know, and ultimately, hey, you're you're the last one hired and the first one fired, man. And you see these uh these people who they throw up in your faces like these uh entertainers and these so-called celebrities, like this guy and this individual on the screen, which I can't tell you. I can't name two songs this nigga this nigga this nigga has, man. Like who is this guy? But you see him on social media every day boasting and talking about uh cryptocurrency the blockchain system all right and basically a persuading jake all right and um telling jake to a uh, to invest in, in in esau's way all right you know it's it, which is okay to invest all right and it's hey, just like it's okay to hey, have money to be rich man the scriptures say a hey, money is a is, is a defense all right but that's not the end all be all, man. You know, the scriptures say, long as a man's heart is good towards the Lord, man, he can be rich or poor, man, roughly paraphrased, you know. Long as your heart is good towards the Lord, man. Hey, but the people don't know the Lord, man. You know, the people, hey, the sea of people don't know the Lord, man. You know, that's why it's written in Hosea chapter 4 that the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, man, because there's no truth nor knowledge of him, you know. But this dude. Basically, a hey, persuades our people to uh, a hey, invest in Bitcoin and basically run the rat race, you know, to keep it up and run the rat race, man. You know, and ultimately don't 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 tell them to prepare to pull out of it, man, because it's, it's, it has an end, you know. But this is Deuteronomy twenty eight, and I start at verse sixty six. Get one of these curses right quick, and it reads, "And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee." And thou shalt fear day and night and shall have none assurance of thy life, man. Right. No assurance of thy life, man. You know, those are the curses that we up under as a people, you know, and you can hey, the hopefully elect. We feel it, you know, and that's why we desire a new heaven and a new earth, which dwelleth righteousness, man. 
you know, and you, you know, you can't, you have to catch yourself because you, it, it, it vex you, man. You know, and it, oh, that vexation, vex, vexation could ultimately leads, it could, leads you to being mad, man, and, 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 and being a envious, all right, which you should want, you should not want to be envious a, to this, these worldly matters, man, because you're, a, you're not of the world. You know, if you're of the hopefully elect, you know, your are are, I'm a part of that number, you know. Hey, so hey, we, we have no assurance of our lives here on this side, man. You know, there's no uh for surety, you know. Nothing is for certain, so to speak. You know, but you listen to Jake, Jake sounds just like Esau, man. They want to run a rat race and live it up and and, and 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 try to get some money, thinking that money is gonna be the end all be all, man. Not knowing that more money, the more problems they go have, man. Especially, especially, especially them, because they are without the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know? So it's vexing to always, hey, you, you be in that spirit of like, tired of this shit, you know? You know, the last one hired, first one fired, you know, trying to, hey, got to get up every day to go to a job. You know, you may be starting a new job. You know, you tired of starting new things. You know, always having to hit the reset button here on this side, man. Because again, it's not your rest, Jake. You know? And then you see uh, individuals like this who will play with your spirit. All right? <clears throat> From there, I want to go to the book of uh, Haggai. Bear with me. Go to the book of Haggai, chapter 1 and verse 6, and it reads, Ye have sown much and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it into a bag with holes, man. You know? Ultimately, yeah, you work ten times as hard as hey, the heathen, all right? Particularly the so-called white man, all right? The nation of Edom. So-called Caucasian race, Salakia, all right, the nation of Edom, Esau, all right, to a to make the dollar, you know, and ultimately that dollar still don't be enough, you know, because a this system is, is is completely against you, man, you know, if you you're you're a children you're a child of the Most High, man, if you're a so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, according to your father, all right, because your father bears the seed, you know, your father's father, father, man, if you're a so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, man, this system, this world. This world and beast like of a system is against you. You know? Hey, that's why the scriptures speak on a, a fret not thyself because of evildoers, man. And we go get that, all right? But uh, one scripture I want to get right quick is Proverbs 13 and 22. It's Proverbs 13 and 22. A good man leaveth an inheritance to his children. Salakia. A good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children. Right, because that's ultimately what you want to do. You know, that's what that's what you think that you have to do in this in this life, you know, if it was to continue on. But a being being woken up to the realization of the truth, all right, hey, the Lord is actually gonna judge this place, man. You know, and it's gonna put he's gonna put it in his right order in his proper perspective, man. And the way it's supposed to be in course. You know, you know, but a hey, you grow up with the uh, philosophies and the ways of this world. You hey, you want to you want to get that money. You want to make that dollar because you got to you try to leave it for your children's children. You know, you want to leave some substance to your children's children, you know, ultimately, you know, but a hey, by this not being our rest. All right. And this 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 present kingdom being temporal. All right. We don't have to worry about leaving things to our children's children. All right. We just have to be content. All right. <clears throat> you know, because hey, with that worldly mindset of hey, this place continue on forever, man, you would want to leave things to your children's children, man. You know, that's what you would want to do. All right. But back in Proverbs 13 and 22, it says, and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Right. But that's what we know. 
we know that the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just man the righteous you know the elect ultimately you know and what hey, this whole system and this whole kingdom has been built off of, of rape rob and murder man you know and the scripture says woe to the town that's a hey, the city built off blood man roughly paraphrasing the Hab habakkuk You know, so hey, this 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 hey, this whole thing is is, is laid up ultimately, and, and all all the riches they have gathered up is ultimately it, it belongs to the Lord, man, and the Lord is go divided amongst his hey, the saints, man, the just, you know. Hey, so fret not thyself because of evildoers, man. You know, and this Psalms thirty seven and one. In Psalms 37 and verse 1. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Right, you know, and going to that word fret, it went into uh, mad, you know, like angry. Don't be, don't be angry or mad, you know. Because oh, ult ultimately it what it turns into envious. You know, you're gonna be envious against the wicked. You know, don't hey, they got their day. They're gonna have their day of judgment, man. And it's, it's it's better for you than for them. All right. So fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass, and wither as the green herb. Right. You know, just as these proud nations, man, you know, they get chopped down man like like the grass man hey, hey, the lord do whatever he's whatever he, he, he want to do you know he ruled in the kingdom of men he give it to whoever so he will man hey, he's gonna take this kingdom completely off of the earth man you know because it's time for for the righteous to rule man you know it's proverbs 24 and 19 And this Proverbs 24 and 19. Fret not thyself because of evil men. Neither be thou envious at the wicked, man. Right. Ne neither be thou envious at the wicked, man. You know, because that, that'll show you just ultimately want to join them. You know? So you just got to you, you put that, that, that fleshly, those fleshly thoughts in subjection, man. And say, man, the hell with that bullshit, man. You know? And continue to suffer for the Lord. You know? Because you've been suffering already, man. You know, this is Luke 6. Luke chapter 6 and verse, I start at verse 24. But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Right, woe unto money man, because he received his consolation, you know. So if you think this is a lot of money, $100,000 or, you know, he can give that away. How much money do he really do have? If you think the money of this world is, 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 is a lot. All right. Just think of, 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 of what what that substance is compared to in heaven, man. Comp compare that to the substance in heaven, man. It got to be great. It has to be great. You know. It's going to be not, it's, it, it, it's, it can't be comparable, man. It, it got to be great, man. Because hey, this is a consolation prize, man. You think of a consolation prize, a little toy that come in a little Happy Meal for the little children, man. That's what they're getting compared to what's going to be in the, in, the, in the kingdom, you know. That's what they're selling out for, you know. It's back in uh, Luke 6 and 20. For but woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. Woe unto you when, you know, so hey, that laugh now, you, you shall mourn and weep, right? You know, because it's what, it's, it's better to be in the, uh, let me get it right quick. I mean, that's, uh, book of Ecclesiasticus. It's 
better to be in the house of mourning than the house of mirth. You know, roughly paraphrasing. You know. It's Ecclesiastes. It's a lot here. Ecclesiastes 7 and 2. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. Right. You know, to sit at the king's table and eat his meat. You know, it's better than to be on your lonesome, man. You know, a, a be stoic, man. You know, uh, uh, isolation is the key. Just you and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, work, work on that relationship and build that relationship, man. You know, just hey, just be on your lonesome, man. Then to join and, and join the rat race and uh, uh, join the folly and the mirth, you know, and to get lost and trapped up in it. All right. It is better to go to the house of mourning. And this is back in uh, Ecclesiastes, Old, Te Old Testament, chapter seven, and verse two. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. For that is the end of all men and the living will lay it to his heart right man that's the end of all men you know it's hey, so hey, it's better to the the cry now man than then and, and laugh later than to, to to laugh now and cry later man you know but back in luke chapter six we was in luke six And 24. Yeah, so we got that, man. The laugh now, cry later. We finished up uh, Luke 6 and 24, you know. Hey, so hey, trust not in uncertain riches, man. You know, let's get that. That's 1 Timothy chapter 6. In verse 17. And it reads. Charge them that are rich in this world. That they be not high minded, man. That's what we're doing, man. We charge them that are rich in this world. And they be not high minded, man. That's why we are get on you celebrities. And let you know who you are according to the scriptures, man. You know, but you know who you are according to the scriptures, man. You work with the devil a hey, firsthand, you know. You, you you see you 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 see it for what it is, man. You know, and, and, and ultimately you heard this truth before. You know, Matthew 24 and 14, this gospel and truth shall be preached throughout the four corners of the earth, and then the end shall come. You know, this 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 uh this truth has 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 been spread throughout the four corners of the earth, man. You know. And continue to spread, man. It's, a, it's 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 like a wildfire, man. You know, so hey, you, hey, the people are gonna be left without excuse, man. You know that hey, that that's it's written in Romans one and twenty. I'm gonna hold First Timothy right quick. Let me get that right quick. You know how the people gonna be left without excuse. You know, and that's Romans one and twenty, I believe. All right, and it talks about the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, we did that lesson uh, just last week, you know, this past camp on how a, his train shall cover the whole earth, man. You know, his spirit, ultimately, that, that's going to gather and seal the elect, you know, his truth, his wisdom, knowledge and understanding is being spread it like a wildfire throughout the four corners of the earth, ultimately to seal and to gather those who hear his voice, man. You know, his sheep who hear his voice, man, which are his, man, his elect, you know. And once they're gathered, man, all hell's going to break loose, man. The hell with the multitude and let them perish that was born in vain, man. Yahweh Tazar, I'm a part of that, that remnant, man, that elect few. But this is Romans 1 and 20. For the invincible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse, right? You're without excuse, man. You know, man can't make none of this stuff, man. 
You know, even though you got man that, that exalts himself today being Esau, Edom, the so-called Caucasian race. All right. And make no mention of the Lord. All right. But act and, and, and play as if, as if they're, they're God. They're the Lord. You know, pertaining to 2 Thessalonians, man, chapter 2. All right. How he sit up in the temple as God and play as God. All right. He makes no mention of the Lord, man. You know. You know, but through his technology, hey, I, hey, two thirds of our people, all right, hey, the majority of the sea of people of this world, hey, uh, look at him as 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 a, as a god, you know, all, all off his technology that the Lord gave him, you know, his technology, his media, the way he, you know, his philosophies, his whole system and how it's set up, you know. <laughs> So hey, it's, it's it's the invisible things, man. That's the way you know. You without excuse, ultimately. That's being the point, you know. You're, the people are gonna be without excuse. You have heard this truth before, all right, and you know better, man. You know, the Lord is a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah, all right. It'd be a so-called Negro today, and he's coming to put down judgment of, of hey, to the unjust, man, the wicked. And this is 1 Timothy, chapter 6 and verse 17. Charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, right? You know, and those celebrities, those who are rich in this world, we charge you, man, that you be not high-minded, you know? Hey, ultimately, we try your way. You know, trying the spirit by, by the spirit, you know, see it, seeing if there's any uh, humbleness and humility about you. You know, you hear stories like uh, individuals like. Uh, what's his name? Uh, damn, I don't forgot his name. Uh, the actor was a uh, slash comedian. Tracy Morgan. All right. That's who I want. Tracy Morgan. All right. He, um. Now he hopped on, hopped out on the apostles, uh, hey, while they were teaching out there in New York, man. You know he hopped out of his uh, 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 Bentley, so to speak, you know, and asked for a blessing. You know why? Because the spirit in him knows who the men of the Lord are, man. He, he hey, the spirit in him has some type of uh, uh, of humility, man, at, 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 to a to a to an extent, you know, humbleness, you know. He's not proud or high-minded, rolling, rolling on, rolling, rolling along, hey, going on about his business like damn those dudes, like the individual we just had at camp, uh, just past camp as well, man. You had a, a, a Jake that came by and said, "Oh yeah, I can't be out there with you, new ninjas. I got to get to the bag." When we asked him, did he take the uh, take the thing? You know, so hey, that's the mindset of our people, man, running after uh, money, the lucre. All right. The filthy lucre. All right. And that's ultimately where hey, they go be given up to that vile affection and they go take that. They go take that chip, you know, and the Lord's go destroy them. They go be a part of that second death. All right. So the scripture said, hey, don't trust in uncertain riches. All right. Be, be not high minded and, and trust not in uncertain riches, but in the living power who give us us richly all things to enjoy. Right. Because this whole world was created for our sakes. So why not worship him? And we gain all, every, hey, everything else come along with it, man. Just as Solomon, man, he asked for the wisdom. And the riches came right along with it. You know? That's what our people, hey, our people fail to realize, man. You know, this is Sirach 26 and 4. They don't see the bigger picture, man. It's a rock 26. And four. And it reads. Whether a man be rich or poor. If he have a good heart towards the Lord. He shall at all times rejoice with a cheerful countenance. Right man. You know because it's not about. You being poor. You know you don't have to be poor to serve the Lord. You know, it ain't about being rich. 
You know, this is about having a good heart, man, a good mind towards the Lord, man. Your eye being single, you know, according to your philosophy, according to your way of life. You know, even though you go about getting your daily bread and your dollar, all right? Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah ultimately comes first, you know? And if anything was to come into interfere with that, you will stop it, you know? Because you know Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah is go fulfill and give you the things that you need any, anyway, you know? You know, because ultimately the Lord is not going to let you prosper if, if, if that's going to be for your detriment, man. If you're of the elect and, and money is, is a weakness for you, the Lord is not going to let you prosper, man. He's not going to let you prosper. Man. You know, he's going to give you just enough. You know, this is 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 9. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, right? A snare goes back into what? A, a, a gin, a trap. You know, so those who Those who will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, man. You know, and ultimately, it really goes down into those who desire to be rich, you know. And into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition, man. <laughs> you know, so it just it's going to lead you to a destruction, man, a judgment. You know, so so endure, endure, and and fight the good fight, man. Continue to endure and, and taking cheerfully the, the the spoiling of your goods, man. You know, if that's your lot. You know, I'm gonna end off with a couple more scriptures, and this is gonna be the book of Hebrews, chapter ten. And I'll start at verse thirty-two. This book of Hebrews ten and thirty-two, but call to remembrance the former days in which after. You were illuminated, right, once you woke up and got the breath of life in you, right, the sinews upon you, the muscles, you know, once you was illuminated, you know, fill, fill with that breath of life, man, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, you know, and you became that light bearer, bearing that light, you know, so once you was illuminated, you know, because hey, it's, 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 it's good when you get this this truth, you know, that's why hey, the apostles and the brothers, the Akim, on down, you know, we refer to this truth being bittersweet, you know, because it's, it's, it's sweet when you get it, but when it digests, it, it be, it's bitter, you know, like 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 Ezekiel, you know. So, back in Hebrews ten and thirty two, but called to remembrance the former days in which, after ye were illuminated, ye endured. A great fight of afflictions, right? So after being illuminated, here comes the bit, the bitterness, man, the, the 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 affliction, you know, and suffering that affliction, you know. You know the fire, the fiery flames of uh, of, 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 of affliction, and the, the waters of of, of uh, adversity, man, you know. Verse 33, partly while as ye were made a gazing stock, both by reproaches and afflictions, right? You know, you, you're a gazing stock by, by reproaches, right? Our people hate reproof when we go out there and we teach them the, 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 the ways of the Lord. And afflictions, man, because that's ultimately what we got to go through to enter in the, in, in the kingdom of the, in, enter in the kingdom of heaven, man, to enter in the straits. You know, that straight, being straight and narrow and straight as being affliction, you know, straights. Ultimately, what this devil go be in soon. So this is back in Hebrews 10 and 33. Partly while as ye were made a gazing stock, both by reproaches and afflictions, and partly while as ye became companions of them that were so used. For ye had compassion of me and my bonds and took joyfully the spoiling of your goods, knowing in yourselves that ye have in heaven a better and an, an enduring substance. Right. It's a better and enduring substance, man. That's why I stated earlier. If this is if this seems like a lot to you on this side, 
a equated to the substance in heaven, man. It, ha it has to be, it has to be, it, it can't be comparable, man. It got to be great because it's written. All right. It's the book of Philippians chapter four and verse 11. Not that I speak in, res in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am, therewith to be content. You know, so you just want to be content. You know, everything else will be added on to you. Just be content. Continue to do the work. You know. And keep that faith. And it's easier said than done, man. That's why it comes down to uh, a praying. And it's Hebrews 13 and 5. And Yahar Ratzazada's lesson was edifying. Yep. Let your conversation be without covetousness. And be content with such things as ye have. For he have said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. So that we may boldly say, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is my helper. And I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Right. Because a man can fire you, tell you this your last day at a job. Cut off all ends of how you support and. Uh, hey, you know, a hey, support and, and, and support your family, man. But ultimately, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has the last say. So 